Well, hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about a narwhal pen. Uh, this is a pen that was, at the time I did the writing sample, was on loan to me from a Instagram, do they call them channels on Instagram or just Instagram pages? Anyway, on Instagram known as Palmer's Pens. Uh, he's a pen reviewer who uses Instagram as his platform. So let's take a look at it. All right, so this is the narwhal pen. And you know, it has a pretty nice acrylic, a little bit of chatoyance there. Nice swirls. Uh, I will admit when I first uh, received it, I thought, oh, this is a, a cartridge converter pen because it just kind of looks like one. Because there's a lot of pens where this is a decorative element. But when I couldn't unscrew it here, <laughs> that was a pretty good clue. Uh, the nib looks like a Yovo nib, but it, you know, narwhal, so... And we got a whale. And then uh, there's the feed. Uh, so yeah, it's a piston filler. My uh, only real fault as a piston filler is I can't I can't tell uh, what the ink level is. It, you know, it's a little bit trans... Oh, you can't tell. Uh, it's a little bit translucent when you hold it up to the light. But yeah, you can't really tell the ink level in it. So let's fill it up with some lovely Parker Quink Blue. It's somebody else's pen, so I'm not going to put anything weird into it. Lots of nice bubbling. Uh, one thing I did notice with the piston, it kind of reminds me of a Lamy 2000 piston where you can start to you know, ratchet it, and I don't care for that. Um, where's my cloth that I wipe my pens on? It's not over here. So you can't tell, but I just did one fill on it, and uh, there's a lot of ink in it. Let's see how it writes. I'm going to guess a medium I didn't see a nib size on it a little bit of feedback to the nib not not a bad feedback just feedback not bad all right so Parker Quink washable blue move over a little maybe I can fit the word blue on screen uh, wetness and flow oh Wait, we got to test flex. I don't, you know, it's a steel nib, which doesn't necessarily mean no flex. Uh, but yeah, this doesn't have any flex. And it doesn't have too much of a stub-like character either. I do like, it's got a nice balance of feedback though. Uh, wetness and flow. Somebody told me they wanted to see horizontal and vertical, so there you go. Uh, wetness and flow, the smear test. This does seem to be a wet pen, though. Freshly filled, which, you know, has something to do with it, but they're always freshly filled. Uh, reverse writing. If you're into that kind of thing. You know, surprisingly smooth. And finally, the world famous Peer Gustafson test. Kept up like a champ. Um, since I'm filming this writing sample first, I'm going to have to look up the model. I not familiar with this brand at all so uh thank you for the loan of this pen and uh it will be on its way back to your home as soon as it's out of ink or you know if a large amount of time has passed so the narwhal pen i thought was very pretty um nice acrylic i appreciated that they went the extra mile and did a piston i will admit now that Palmer's Pens has admitted to me that uh, the piston's a little flimsy, like it quit turning on me because I 
turned it too far one way. So uh, I was glad to hear he also had that problem with it. Uh, the nib was nice. It was a steel nib. Pro I'm, actually, I don't know what brand it was. It had nar narwhal written on it. And yeah, narwhal with the, you know, big, the whale with the big horn thing on his nose. It's just kind of cool. Uh, I, I know they don't go out in the ocean and sword fight, but... Uh, or is that swordfish I'm thinking of that don't sword fight? Anyway, I'm thinking of some old cartoon where they're fighting like this with their noses uh, to fish. Whether it was a narwhal, or which wouldn't be a fish really, or a, a swordfish. But Okay, back on topic. Wow, did I, that goes south. I still got to do pens and use tonight. I'm getting tired. So anyway, um, but the writing experience was nice. You know, I only filled it with Parker Quink washable blue because it's washable so it wouldn't do something horrible to his pen and I'm always leery when I, I used to be more daring but I've gotten so more leery when I borrow somebody else's pen so I always want to use just a safe ink and uh yeah I, I was pleased with it I would I buy one I don't know uh, I liked it but I don't know that I liked it enough to buy it but the nice thing is you can get a piston filling pen at a relatively low cost because I did research that so, uh, yeah, our wall pen may be worth checking out. Uh, normally at this point, I would do the pocket test and, uh, well, it's back home. So I can't do the pocket test. And he loaned me two pens and I didn't think of doing the talkie part until I'd mailed them off. Wait, whoops, what about the end of my video? So I will reassure, ooh, I seem to have my camera up a little higher today. I will reassure you that I was able to easily put it in my pocket. There was no catching or anything. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad I got the chance to try it. I've been curious about the brand, just not curious enough to buy one. So, uh, I don't know that I'll buy one now, but it's definitely a brand to keep my eye on because I can see the potential they'll come out with something that I am very much interested in in the future. So, I want to thank you for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.